Hello everyone and welcome to the Low Budget Otaku. Yes, it's still not the figure review time. For that, you can expect in the end of this video a little spoiler alert of what's going to become the next review this Sunday. So stay tuned for that. But today I'm going to talk about something different. Something that I haven't talked about in this channel before, that is gaming. And I'm going to talk to you about actually my favorite game of all time. Shenmue, more particularly the Shenmue teaser trailer. Now, I'm a little bit late to the party, but let me explain why I want to talk about this. Now, if you've been living in a cave for the past year or two, uh, then we know that Shenmue uh, had a Kickstarter for Shenmue 3. Now, it was a 14 year exile from Shenmue. And then Yu Suzuki managed to get the rights from Sega in order to do Shenmue 3. But he didn't have money because he has a small indie studio. So he decided to do a Kickstarter and Sony were helping. Uh, and this gave me a lot of joy to see the community come together and for us to manage to fund Shenmue. We broke records for Kickstarter video games, it was amazing to watch. But not all was positive, and I will talk about some of the negatives more to the end of the video. But for now, let's talk about the teaser trailer itself. The internet immediately went crazy. Oh my god, where uh, is our money being spent? There's no animations. Oh, oh, the horror. Calm down, calm down. So, my opinion on the teaser trailer it got me pumped. A little bit worried but I was still excited for it the teaser trail doesn't show much of course because it's very early build is very early on uh, Yu Suzuki himself came to say that there was not animations in the character because it was still very early on in development so and it is normal now they are using Unreal Engine 4 and the sceneries look amazing. They look great. I think, you know, in terms of backgrounds, in terms of objects, all of that looked really even better than I expected that it would look. It looks really like a next gen title. The characters themselves is where people are freaking out because we see that first the character models are not the best. Uh, some people said, that, oh, it looks like they're straight from the Dreamcast and just ported for uh, this console. I actually think that the Dreamcast models looked a little bit better than these ones do. Uh, and unfortunately, this is already something that I expected when the Kickstarter ended. I don't expect that the graphics are going to be amazing. Because they don't have money to make amazing graphics. They have to sacrifice something for the end product to be amazing. Should be the graphics. Unfortunately, because Shenmue was known for having these amazing graphics for its time. But I would rather have the characters looking almost like Shenmue 1 and 2. And um, that everything else is spot on. Like the gameplay, the scenery, the scale of it. The, detail, the attention to detail that Shenmue was known for, then having amazing characters and then they have a short game with very few content. So we need to be realistic and people should be realistic about this. It was a Kickstarter game, it didn't even reach the final goals, because I do believe that if we had reached 10 million, we could have had the Shenmue game that we all wanted, but we didn't reach it. And that's where not all was positive uh, during the Shenmue Kickstarter. Because a lot of people got together and fought really hard to get this game made. Unfortunately, there was a lot of people that also took advantage of this uh, popularity and fight to make money themselves in their, Shen in her, in their YouTube channels by just bashing on Shenmue, hating on Shenmue. And basically trying to put a fork in the engine that was driving the Kickstarter. I think if those people wouldn't have 
been spreading misinformation. Like for example, uh, uh, was how, how is he called? Oh god, uh, I don't remember. There was a, a very known YouTuber that talked a lot of shit about Shenmue. Basically, was saying that Sony was funding it. That Sony was getting your money. Uh, he, he spread a lot of misinformation. He was a big YouTuber. Uh, I'll, I'll probably leave somewhere the name of the YouTube channel and um, he basically uh, all his audience saw that people who were not informed didn't donate for the Kickstarter because they believed oh Sony's funding it Sony was never funding the game Sony was just giving money then to port the game to the PlayStation 4 and to advertise the game for the PlayStation 4 but the development of the game was all coming from the Kickstarter and a lot of people didn't donate because they thought that the game didn't need. So the game came a little bit short of what it could have been because of all of those people basically taking advantage of the hype and trying to bash Shenmue for views. And even Ijean was 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 doing this. It was very shameful, it was really piss poor um, behavior from from those people and unfortunately because of that we have what we have we have those six and a half million uh, dollars I donated uh, 275 dollars so I could get uh, you no know, t-shirt the uh, the soundtrack the toys everything that I there was my limit but I, I donated that because I really wanted those things I'm a big huge Shenmue fan I have a Shenmue jacket somewhere I played those games more than any games in my life and I do believe those are the best video games ever made. But that's just my opinion. Don't 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 think I'm saying that they are. It's my opinion, it's my taste. For me, I never played any other game as good as Shenmue. That's me, that's me. It doesn't mean that I'm saying that it is. Just my taste. Um, but yeah, I'm not worried about the trailer. The trailer was exactly what I expected, even though I hope that the character models will still be improved. Uh, because I think a look more close to the original two, in terms of characters, but of course with some better textures, some better graphics, uh, will do wonders. Because I think they are doing some changes that are unnecessary, like the Lucas Shenwa don't change it. It doesn't need to be changed. The more it feels like the originals, the better. Like the logo too. Don't change the logo. Use the logo that you had in the beginning for the Kickstarter. If uh, you have some legal reasons with Ch Sega that you cannot use the logo, tell us. Just tell us. We will accept it. But for now, people are looking at the new logo and they don't understand that you cannot use the other logo. And they don't like this new logo, they like the old logo. But if there's a contractual reason that you cannot use, you cannot use, we'll accept that. Uh, that's my opinion on it, so I hope to hear from you guys. If you are Shenmue fans, if you don't know anything about Shenmue, tell me what you think about all of this. Do you like Kickstarter as a way to fund these games that we all want, but sometimes you know, the companies don't see the uh, financial security on them to release? I would love to hear your opinions and don't forget stay tuned and subscribe maybe for some more talks like this I don't know it depends on the, if you guys like this or not uh, if I'm going to keep doing talks like this or not unfortunately this month uh, I'm going to be very contained in my figure reviews and model kit reviews because unfortunately I had to spend a lot of money in a new cell phone because my cell phone broke and uh, that's been delaying a little bit my reviews because some I used to use the cell phone for taking uh, shots in terms of picture and then I would film with the camera but now I, I'm without cell phone I bought my new cell phone so I'm going to review the, the things but unfortunately that also constrained me a little bit the money for new figures so for this month I'm going to review a lot of other figures that I haven't reviewed yet uh, but it is going to delay me some of the buys that I wanted to make, especially from Play Art Sky. Um, but I hope you guys stay tuned 
is at least one per week is always going to be here for you guys this Sunday it's going to be this little guy see you guys next time on the low budget otaku don't forget to also follow me on Instagram while I'll always share amazing shots amazing pictures of all my figures and you can get some hints of the next ones that I'm going to review so Instagram I'm always very active there I'll be otaku don't forget subscribe like thank you guys for watching love you all and here it comes ah!